The Prophet wasallam said, that was Jibreel wasallam. He came and said to me, whoever says La ilaha illallah, that person will go to Jannah. And Abu Dhar radiallahu anh is shocked. Like what? You know how like when you get a deal, you don't believe it? Like that's the deal? So he says, O oh, Messenger of Allah, wa in zana, wa in sarqa, even if that person did zina, and even if he stole, like even a sinner, if he says La ilaha illallah, he goes to Jannah. The Prophet said, wa in zana, wa in sarqa. Even if he did zina, even if he stole. He was lost. He said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, wa in zana, wa in sarak, even if he stole, even if he stole and did zina. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa second time he responded to Abu Dhar al-Ghifari radiallahu anhu, wa in zana, wa in sarak. So then Abu Dhar al-Ghifari radiallahu anhu, he was still in disbelief. He asked a third time. You know, like, you just can't believe it. This is the deal. He says, wa in zana, wa in sarak, even if he stole, and even if he committed zina, he fornicated. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, وَإِن زَنَا وَإِن سَرَقَ عَلَىٰ رَغْمِ أَنْ فِي أَبِي ذَرْ That even if he did zina, even if he stole, even if Abu Dhar doesn't want him to go to Jannah, even if Abu Dhar doesn't like it, even if we have to take the nose of, the nose of Abu Dhar and put it in soil, even then he's going to go to Jannah. And Abu Dhar al-Ghifari radiallahu an, whenever he used to narrate this hadith, you know, you think about it, he could have easily taken that last part of the narration out, no one would have known, that's what the Prophet said to him. But whenever he used to narrate the hadith, he would say, Ala ragmi anfi, even if I don't like it, that person's still going to Jannah. La ilaha illallah. Beautiful narration.